A monumental new world record has just been set in Super Mario 64 speedrunning. Carpetless is one of the most legendary tricks in all of speedrunning, and a new barrier has just been broken. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Rainbow Ride Stage World Record RTA Time Attack that was just set by the Japanese runner Parsi. I'll be talking a little bit about what exactly Carpetless is and how it came to be, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, please do stick around. Otherwise, if you just want to see the analysis of the new world record, I'll be including timestamps in the description of this video, so be sure to check those out if you're interested in them. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Every main stage in Super Mario 64 has a 100 coin star, which is collected alongside another star in the speedrun of each stage. There is always an optimal choice, as some stars work better with the 100 coin star and save time compared to other potential routes. As well as full game runs that you might be familiar with, such as 0 star, 1 star, 16 star, 70 star, and 120 star, runners also keep track of the fastest completions of each stage from the game and it is on these leaderboards that a monumental run has been achieved. In the case of Rainbow Ride, speedrunners have always collected the 100 coin star, along with the the Big House in the Sky star, which involves riding this excruciatingly long carpet ride, all the way from near the cruiser to the very top of the titular Big House, collecting the 100 coin star on the carpet along the way. However, this technically isn't the fastest possible route for collecting the 100 coin star. It had long been theorized that if it was somehow possible to arrive at the big house earlier, doing so and collecting the 100 coin star along with the somewhere over the rainbow star would save a massive amount of time, well over half a minute. There were various methods theorized and then developed in tool-assisted speedruns. One in particular by Mario 64 Masters involved some bonkers movement using hyperspeed wall kicks to jump all the way from the pole near the cruiser up to the big house, conserving speed through the pole grab and wall kicking up to the roof. This avoided the long carpet ride to the big house, and is where the trick carpetless gets its name. It was only a matter of time before the legendary Japanese runner Zaya began doing attempts of this trick. He was well known as a player who could set unfathomable records with strategies no one at the time thought possible, and performing carpetless in real time without save states would be the crowning jewel of what was humanly possible in Super Mario 64, pushing the boundary of what we previously thought was exclusively a trick only for tool-assisted speedruns. The route Zaya used was far different to the hyperspeed wall kicks we saw earlier, and involved grabbing an inflated bob mid-explosion and then delicately transporting Mario over to a nearby teleport to the big house, and then performing some incredibly precise glitchy wall kicks to bounce up to the top of the big house. Yeah. This may already look incredibly difficult, but it's hard to put into words and not obvious from simple observation, just how hard this trick actually is. Since this former single star world record set by Zaya in 2019, Carpetless has only been successfully performed in real time by four other runners, those being Miko in 2019, Shake in 2021, who broke Zaya's record and then improved his time two more times. Taylor Swift Simp in 2023, who broke Shake's record. And finally Parsi, who achieved a new milestone and performed Carpetless in a stage RTA, meaning he was the first to complete it in a speedrun of Rainbow Ride, collecting all the stars in the stage after performing this incredible trick. Parsi is a relatively new runner in the scene, having only been active as far back as 2020. In these past two and a half years, however, Parsi has improved and transformed into one of the most skillful and well-rounded players, being one of few runners to achieve top times in all five main categories of Super Mario 64 speedrunning, notably a 1 hour 37 minute time in 120 star, and a former world record time of 46 minutes and 54 seconds in 70 star. On the 3rd of August 2023, Parsi would make history and set the most impressive stage RTA world record in Super Mario 64 history. This run would include carpetless and a beautiful execution of the rest of the stars in the stage, culminating in a final time of 4 minutes and 53.99 seconds, putting Parsi over 40 seconds ahead of Chip Groove in second place, the biggest gap between first and second of any stage RTA in the game. Let's take a quick look at Parsi speedrun, and I'll go over the two main differences between this route and the previous one. Namely, we'll go over Carpetless, and we'll go over 100 coin, and we'll talk about 
what parts they did well, and where there are some small areas of maybe future improvement for the next absolutely insane spinner who decides to go for this kind of trick in a run. If you want to see the entire run, I'll be linking this in the description of the video as well, so please do go check out Parsi's channel, and also the video link in the description if you want to see the full Rainbow Ride stage RTA world record. Looking at the run, Parsi begins carpetless with another very difficult trick called Assless. It is named as such since it is a harder version of Lakitu Bounce, where Mario avoids a wall kick and can jump into the pole much faster, saving around 3 seconds over the old method. Mario grabs the inflated bob on the cruiser, which pushes Mario backwards due to the enlarged hitbox, and I'll let the rest of this trick speak for itself. Absolutely incredible. Following Carpetless, Parsi collects all the other stars, leaving only two stars left in the stage. Going into 100 coin, Parsi misses this fly guy at the beginning, meaning he has to collect an extra red coin later, which will lose some time. Here, Parsi performs a dangerous side flip, and Mario gets knocked over by Lakadu and loses a few extra seconds. Here the extra red coin is collected which spawns the red coin star. Not ideal, but for Parsi to close this out, all he has to do is finish up without falling or dying in this stage. He attempts a speed kick here to conserve speed, but misses the timing and Mario comes to a halt, but quickly picks up speed again. And now because of the change in route, Parsi can avoid using this carpet to collect the rest of the coins, and instead heads straight to the cruiser. And with the last 5 coins from this enemy, and the somewhere over the rainbow star nearby, Parsi closes this run out with an incredible world record that will certainly stand the test of time. Here we go! It's hard to stress just how impressive and monumental this speedrun actually is, with only a handful of runners ever having attempted and completed Carpetless on its own, for Parsi to go ahead and complete Carpetless and a full Rainbow Ride stage RTA is nothing short of amazing. Parsi is definitely on the road to greatness if he hasn't already cemented himself a seat in the Hall of Fame for Mario 64 speedrunning. If you're interested in having a look at more of Parsi's records and runs, please do go follow him at his Twitch channel. I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel and to his YouTube channel as well as well as links to all the clips and runners presented in this video. Also, I would love to hear from you what you think about Carpetless. Will we see more speedrunners go for this crazy trick? Will we one day see it in runs in the future? Who knows? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, so please do leave one. Thank you everybody for watching this video up to this point. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was a quick one, but I'll be back with more videos again later this week. So stay tuned for that. Lots of love. Ciao for now. And it is on these leaderboards that a momental. What? That's not. What, what does that say? Monument. Okay, monumental. I can't read my own script. <laughs>